so coming to you live from Kells, I think I just missed the closing. I've bought several hats here and I bought a couple uh, t-shirts for gifts. But I think it was open for a while or you could eat outside here. Because, uh, yeah, there's people walking around. Sunday is when the dancing is. But I uh, want to grab a table and talk about Lawrence Black. Irish Pub is apropos for the Matthew Scudder books. Especially the character Nick, the, the butcher. Where's the apron? The bloody apron? No chairs around. I can't really grab a table. Maybe I'll just walk around and talk about Lawrence Black and Matthew Scudder and Sue Grafton. But that was Kells. And a good place to talk about Lawrence Black because Matthew Scudder novels are uh, deeply in Irish culture and and New York City mob types and things like that. I've read his other books too. He has, Lawrence Block is very prolif prolific. <clears throat> like many other crime, writer, crime fiction writers are to boot. And Matthew Scudder is a, you could say recovered alcoholic. He doesn't relapse as often as like say uh, Dave Robichaud and James Lee Burke. The Matthew Scudder novels are violent, they're in New York City, they're, they're very stylized. He uh, has a girlfriend, more than a girlfriend, an uh, ongoing relationship with Elaine. Boy, I haven't, I, I need to catch up with them. You know, when you read a series and you really fall in love with it, you get to know the characters. Um, Matthew Scudder is a very interesting character. Like I said, recovered alcoholic. All he drinks is black coffee, and he tithes. Everything is, uh, he's a private detective. So infamous in New York City underground that he you know, just takes cash and whatever gets he tithes in the Catholic uh, poor box. Now let me uh, speak briefly about Sue Grafton, the late, great Sue Grafton. Just start with the A's. Start with A is alibi, B is burglar, C is for catfish. I don't know what C is for, but Kinsey Melhorn, Santa Barbara, California. It's Santa Teresa, excuse me, Santa oh, Teresa. Well, that's interesting. Someone's having a bad day. And what a twist of consequential fate that Sue Grafton would write all the way to the letter Y and then die right before she got to Z is for, oh, it's tragic. Okay, we're filming good. <clears throat> Alan here, welcome to my channel, Big Hard Books and Classics. That's where the Blazers play. That's in honor of the Twin Towers. They change colors. We're on the Burnside Bridge. I'll give you my little history lesson as we walk over, I guess. I'm going to Kells Irish Pub to do uh, crime fiction number three on Lawrence Block and the late, great Sue Grafton. The Kinsey Melhorn novels, so great. This is a, a, just a draw bridge. The Burnside Bridge was designed by the same architect who did the Golden Gate Bridge. For people who jump off the bridge. Wonder if they have sensors. I think they do down there to, to tell when people or objects hit the, the ground. So nice full moon. I'm just taking a walk. I'm 
reminiscent of a uh, maybe you know, suit grafting. She was so cool and nice. Back when you had email mailing lists. And like if you're in academia, do they still have that dot edu address? Be my name with the, the dot edu. So yeah, let's talk about Sue Graffin and Lawrence Black. Let me get to the pub first. Don't get your hopes up too high, it's not going to be open. So it's Lawrence Black, Matthew Scudder, novels I recommend. Uh, would be a ticket to the Boneyard, The Devil Knows You're Dead, A Dance at the Slaughterhouse, and it, again as far as Sue Grafton, her Kinsey Melhorn novels, uh, do yourself a favor and start at the beginning. But A is for Alibi, the first one is really good. H is for Homicide, I remember standing out. I like it when she gets a boyfriend or hooks up with someone or has a relationship, usually with a cop or an ex cop. And things get uh, exciting. But they're fun novels to read. So, spotlight, spotlight on Lawrence Block and Sue Grafton, two writers I met at the Poison Pen in Scottsdale, Arizona, a bookstore that is still there. I have it on good word from Jack the Rambling Wreck on Cure. So, as usual, thanks for your time and your consideration. Till next time I remain, yours, Alan. Ta-ta.